I've been at the sheriff's department for 11 years. Um, I have my private pilot's license and I like to fly, so I would uh, someday like to move over to our air division, possibly fly the helicopter and uh, help the patrol officers uh, locate suspects and uh, search areas and stuff like that. You were responding to a call for Roseville PD. They were in pursuit of a uh, red Harley Davidson motorcycle. Um, he's a domestic violence suspect, and they followed him down to our area, and they asked us for an assist on the call. Officers have found the motorcycle abandoned in the area um, back that we're heading to now, and is supposed to be on foot evading us. Now, Sudswick's supposed to be a white male adult, uh, about five foot eight inches tall. They believe he's a proly at large and possibly armed. There's a couple of cops up this way, so. Somewhere from here. Bell, that way or down that the way? way. Okay. So as soon as he wrecked his bike right over there, he's going to be like over in this uh, okay. section. He dumped the bike here in front of this house. Um, Roseville Police Department had talked to some witnesses and believes he ran through some backyards in this direction. Uh, we're trying to get another officer to call a perimeter to surround the area and keep him locked down. This is the only house that we haven't searched yet. Um, I've had a lot of premise history with this house where we've been here numerous times for service calls over the last two years. I've probably been here six to eight times. So we need a warrant coming? He's sick and I, there's nobody in this house. Okay, well, uh, just let you know if we do find him or he leads us back to this house, both y'all can go to jail. Just be honest with you. Oh, I know. I don't, I don't have anything to do with it. Do you want to take that chance? Bad guys. That's real fun right there. I'm sorry? Go We're looking for a guy with a gun and he's an extremely dangerous parolee. All we're asking for is your cooperation. Maybe just a little, you know, helping hand. If there was anybody here, I'd <laughs> let you in, let you have him. I mean, I'd be out first. But see, my fear is, is that there could be a guy standing on the other side of that wall with a gun pointing at your head, telling you to say these things. If there was, I could go like... Go for that patrol K-9. If you're back here, make yourself known. I'll send a police dog. We'll find you and you will be bit by the warning. CSB K9, come out now. Yeah, come on over here and talk to me real quick, Dorothy. Thank you for finally coming forward. And does he have a does he have a party? It's okay, just I'm gonna get any of these to be just for all this work. Yeah. You're all right, you're all right. Board. Down. Sheriff's keen if you're in your mix-up, no dogs coming in, you are going to get bit. Clear the house back this way. We're coming through. Coming through. Get your hands! Oh, in here, and back. Now come back up. Only one. Back, back up. up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. They only want one. Back up. Keep those hands. Keep those hands. Five. Crawl to me. Crawl this way. Stop. Put your hands down. Put your hands down right now. You got it? Yes, sir. Let it go. Under the bed. Over. Nice job, boys. How you want to do it? How should I? Put your knees. Put your knees under you. There you go. Sit up. Start crawling. Come on, lift up. There you go. Walk on your Are knees. Are any of these your cell phones? No. None of this property is yours on the bed. No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go. I don't believe you right now. Where do you want to go? Okay. All right, left leg over. Thomas, no, that's our resident. Okay. All right. Do you uh, did you get a good search on him? Is your cuffs? Okay, let's go. Coming out. Thank you for finally coming forward and letting me in. I've been here plenty oh, yeah. of times. I've talked to you. You've been very cooperative with me. 
And when I started to get this sense that you didn't want to let me in your house for some reason, that's why I started talking about it. There could be a guy with a gun inside. I had a really good suspicion that he was in there. Okay. How were you feeling at that time, and I mean when he was in there? Petrified. Okay. I mean, did he threaten you guys in any way, or...? Uh, you said you better be quiet, you know. Okay. And, and that's when you guys just became afraid. Yeah. Right. Well, he's all tattooed, and I thought he was probably in a gang. And, okay. And you know, I don't know. He's got. You made gang you made mention that, before that he had made uh, said something about that he knows people or something of that nature. Did he tell you anything like that? Uh, no. He just you know, be quiet. Um, you just had a sense that he knew some people that he just so, looked dangerous. Yeah. He looks like a gang member, and I don't know if he had a weapon. I have no clue. I didn't see one, but I didn't know. All right. Thanks Thank again, Dorothy. We appreciate it. What, what's, what's your first name again? Why wouldn't you give yourself up when you heard the dog outside the door? What's that? You have no comment. You heard the dog coming in the door, right? You heard the dog. You heard us make our announcements. They even said you're going to get bit if you don't give up. You had nowhere to go, so why would you just hide out in there? What's that? All right. All right, Andrew. He's an active parolee right now. He's probably going to be violated for his parole status. Um, he's, according to Roseville, got an active domestic violence um, charge against him at this point. Um, they initiated pursuit on the freeway, so they've got him for evading a peace officer on the freeway, charging into the residence. That's a good burglary right there because he was unwanted and uh, held him against their will for a good false imprisonment charge. Medics are on scene. He's got a good dog bite, so they're going to take care of the medical on that, and it sounds like he's going to Roseville 